What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. I recently did a video covering some of the top detailing products that you can get at your local Harbor Freight. And a lot of people seem to really, really like that video. So I wanted to do another one similar to that today, but we're gonna be talking about the car detailing products that I personally would buy at your local Walmart. Now I know not all Walmarts have the same exact inventory, so please bear in mind that this is the local one that I went to. But don't worry, if you're at a location that doesn't have a lot of the good stuff, uh, I will have everything linked down in the description, along with some other products that aren't available through Walmart, but things that I really, really like and that I use in my professional detailing business. Now, Walmart here in the US stocks a lot of different brands from Turtle Wax, Armor All, Meguiar's, Chemical Guys, Jay Leno's Garage, and even a new one that I had not seen until I went to my local Walmart and found this, and it's called Suds Lab. Comes in a more professional grade, 32 ounce size bottle. Um, now, this one I actually bought online. They sell them on Amazon as well, and you get this kind of more industrial looking trigger sprayer. Um, the ones that come from Walmart will come with this trigger sprayer. And I haven't had any issues with these uh, so far, but I definitely, they're, you know, they're not a full blown industrial grade, but this brand seems to be really going after that kind of more professional market. Um, I have been playing around with it and so far from what I've seen guys, I actually like it quite a bit. It's a good product, maybe a little bit on the pricey end. Um, you know, they do sell in a 32 ounce bottle, but, Overall, I've been very, very happy with it. All right, guys, so as far as products go, they have a ton of different options, and I wanna try and simplify it so you guys know just kinda of where to go to directly and a couple options within each one. So first things first, guys, we're gonna start off, we need to wash the vehicle, right? So we need some car shampoo, car soap. And they do have a few different options, but I would stick to these three um, for my personal use. I just, I've used these products and I have a lot of faith in them. Uh, number one is Meguiar's Gold Class. Really, really cost effective, tons of lubrication. If you're using it in a foam cannon, it foams very well. Um, not crazy, but it does a good job. And um, it's just a good all around soap. It's pH neutral with a lot of lubrication. Now after that is another product from Meguiar's and that's just their basic wash and wax. Um, again, works well in a foam cannon or just in a bucket. Now it's listed as a wash and wax. Now with the wax additive, I don't, it's not adding a ton of protection. It may add a little bit of protection for a day or two, but typically with that, there's just polymer uh, additives into it and it gives it that just waxed look, kind of adding a little bit more depth to the paint and all that kind of stuff. Now third is from Chemical Guys and that is their Honeydew Snow Foam uh, Soap. And this stuff works great, smells good, good to go. So. That's what they had at my local Walmart. They may have other ones. Um, again, Mr. Pink is something that I use a lot from, from Chemical Guys. So uh, any, of those, any of those soaps are gonna get the job done just fine. Now, after you wash your car and you do wanna do this step, if you wanna go into claying your vehicle, which if you're not familiar, clay will basically remove all of the embedded contamination that's into your clear coat um, it, on the top layer, top surface. Things like industrial fallout that will sit into your paint and over time, an exceptional amount of time, but over time can cause rust and other problems within your paint. Um, on white cars, you can always see, if you look close at your white vehicle, you'll see kind of little orange specks in the paint, and that is all that industrial fallout that the clay will remove. On other colors, you typically don't see it, but it is there. Another thing you can do is you can rub the, your hand over the surface of your paint. If it doesn't feel nice and smooth, you should probably go ahead and clay to remove all that stuff out. And at my local Walmart, they did have the Meguiar's clay kit, Fantastic little kit. It's a traditional clay, so it's little clay bars, and they also give you some quick detailer that you can use as a lubricant, because that's important when you're claying, you wanna keep it nice and lubricated. And also, that is a very nice fine grade clay, meaning you can go fine grade, medium grade, and I guess heavy grade, I, I can't remember what the third one is, but fine grade is gonna do the least amount of any sort of marring or anything like that against your paint. The higher you go, it's gonna pull more stuff out, but you're, you're definitely gonna to wanna to polish afterwards. Um, and that's where we're going to next, guys. Compounds and polishes. Now, at this local store, they only had Ultimate Compound. Most stores I've seen actually have Ultimate Polish as well. And both of those are great products. Now I do prefer the pro grade uh, product from Meguiar's over those ones. I use M110 and M210, but the Ultimate Compound and Ultimate Polish, they work great. They're, they're, they're fine products, they're easy to work with. 
and uh, readily available at your local Walmart. Also, they're a really good price for a compound and polish. Okay, so now moving on to uh, wheel cleaners. We're gonna talk about wheel cleaners. We've got Diablo wheel cleaner from Chemical Guys. Now that's a pretty mild wheel cleaner. You're gonna have to get in there and agitate with that product. It's not something you can just spray on and rinse off. Um, we also have a few products from Meguiar's for your wheels which also work really, really well, actually. Uh, the one, I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. There's a picture of it here for you guys, so go after that one. I will also have a link down in the description for you guys. Ultimate wheel, I can't remember what it's called. Anyways, uh, and then third, uh, again, from that company, Suds Lab, they have a zero acid wheel cleaner, and I'll show you guys a picture of it here. And it, now, it's a little bit of a toned down version but very close to what i would use in my professional detailing business so just be careful make sure that there's no uh you know make sure your 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 wheels are okay for this test a little spot make sure it's not going to cause any harm if you're worried about it at all just spray it on rinse it off right away so it, it's going to still going to do a good job of breaking stuff down now right on the labeling of this product it does say do not apply to hot rims so if you're driving going around driving around that's causing friction and, and movement it's going to heat them up make sure you park it for a while let them sit before you before you go to this it also says do not spray on uncoated aluminum or anodized wheels and finally it says do not let za which is this product uh, dry on the wheel surface so keep it wet rinse it off before it dries and you should be fine just basically says to let the product dwell for 30 to 60 seconds but again do not let it actually dry onto the wheel uh, and then rinse it away and you'll be good to go now this is a non-acid wheel cleaner but typically these non-acid wheel cleaners don't smell the best this one's not terrible i've used other ones in my professional business that you like you spray it and it, it chokes you up like they're very very potent this one's not so bad but just keep that in mind it may stink you may want to put a mask on just to be safe okay so let's talk about protection now waxes and things like that so uh we've got mcguire's liquid wax uh ultimate liquid wax i believe it's called fantastic product works really well easy on and off um, we also have a couple of different products from Chemical Guys. They're uh, butter wax. Um, again, that's a, you know that's a fine product. You're not going to have any issues with that. Um, but I will say, guys, just to be cost effective, Meguiar's um, Cleaner Wax, fantastic product. If you're using a polisher, it will clean up the paint a little bit, and, and then it's laying down protection at the same time. Great product. I, I can't remember what size that bottle is. I think it's 16 ounces, but it's like eight or nine bucks. I keep it around. I always have it. Um, just because it's a good good product, it's been around forever, and I actually like it quite a bit. Now, if you want spray on protection, I do recommend uh, Meguiar's Ceramic Wax, their sprayable version. Now, the liquid version that you can apply, or I guess you would call it a cream version, I'm not a huge fan of. It's a little bit hard on and off uh, to remove. Um, but the sprayable version is nice. You can apply it wet. It works really well. I like that stuff a lot. And now, let's talk interior cleaners. Quite a few options here, guys. Uh, but Anything from Meguiar's is gonna get the job done just fine. Again, they have products from Turtle Wax. I, I don't have a lot of, I haven't used a lot of the Turtle Wax products. I've seen a lot of good reviews on the new stuff, but I don't, I haven't used it, so I'm not gonna recommend it to you guys because I just, I don't know. Um, and then uh, on the Armor All stuff, I, I think I mentioned it before, I'm just, I'm not a huge fan. It just feels a little bit too diluted down to me. Um, but the Meguiar's interior detailers are fantastic. And additionally, we have the Chemical Guys Total Interior, and I actually really like that product. Um, it's light cleaning ability, but it also does have UV protection in it, so you're able to kind of do everything all at once. If you're just doing it to maintain your car and you don't have to do any deep scrubbing, that's probably the one I would go with. I really like that Total Interior from Chemical Guys. And now again, from Suds Lab, they do have their D3. It's called Interior Detailer. Um, now this is, Kind of a dressing so you're going to get uv protection from it now for the directions of this, uh, of this stuff it does say spray directly onto a cool surface and then wipe clean with a cloth or microfiber towel i do not recommend that i always recommend it with anything guys apply it to the microfiber towel first and then wipe it in if you're spraying you're going to get overspray on your windows and all that other kind of stuff They're, it's just going to create more work for yourself so spray onto the towel and then rub it in uh, they also have N2, which is their interior solution. This is more of just an all-purpose cleaner. Um, so another great option from that Suds Lag company. Again, works well. Again, maybe a little expensive, but does work well. Okay, so now let's talk some detailing tools that they have. And right off the bat, guys, they have this little box of drill brushes. Now, I'm saying drill brush, that's an actual brand, but that's what it is. It's a brush that goes onto your drill so you can use it to clean upholstery and all that kind of stuff. 
This kit is really cool. It comes with four different brushes for like 16 bucks, which is a phenomenal value. Um, however, I will say guys, it comes with a large brush, small brush, really small brush, and then like a cone, kind of like a toilet bowl brush, but it's good to get into tight spots. I will say though that the bristles of it are a bit stiffer than I would like. Um, there's not a soft one in there. They're all a little bit stiff. I would definitely recommend just going with the actual drill brush brand. Um, I'll have those linked down in the description, the kit that I use. Um, but if you're in a pinch, I'm sure this would get the job done. All right, next tool that I really like is they do have a good wheel brush. Now this is a great brush for the barrel of the wheel, inside the wheel, behind the spokes. And this is really nice. You can actually get in there, get it all agitated, get it all cleaned up, go ahead and rinse everything out. The uh, bristles are actually, are actually able to bend the stem of it so you can get right behind and, and not miss any spots. And it does a really, really fantastic job. This is kind of a staple. This is just one that's available at Walmart and it does a great job. The one thing that I don't like about that brush is that the, brush, the bristles, when you're moving in and out on the wheel, it kind of, it flings back and it, 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 I mean, you can get some, whatever cleaner you're using is getting kind of sprayed back onto your arm, sometimes onto your face. Not ideal. So I do like these softer ones and this one's from Adams, uh, but my actual favorite one is called the Wooly Warmit. I think that's what it's called. Wooly Warmit, I'll have it linked down in the description. Very similar to this, except it's longer and you, you can bend it and get it into everything. And it's a Chanel microfiber tile, uh, styled um, head works fantastic and does not fling back at you. So that's definitely my favorite choice for my uh, wheel brush when I'm trying to clean the actual barrel of the wheel. Now moving right along to one of my favorite categories and that is foam cannons. And they actually carry the Chemical Guys Big Mouth Foam Cannon. I did a review on this one. Great build quality. I really like the bottle that it's clear and, and, and I think it's a great unit, uh, but at 90 bucks, it doesn't get the most foam. Now there's three foam cannons that get the most foam in my opinion. The MJJC Foam Cannon Pro, which I also sell unbranded on my site. Um, so I'll link all that stuff below for you guys. Uh, I'm currently out of stock, but I'll have more back in stock within about a week, I think. Next up would be the Griot's Boss Foam Cannon. Now that one's more expensive. It does have a little metering system on the bottom. I did a whole review on that one as well. You can just look it up on the channel. Um, and that one's really, really good. And then lastly would be the MTM Hydro uh, little foam cannon. That one has a smaller neck, which I don't like. Uh, I like a wider mouth opening when you're filling your product, but it gets a ton of foam and the build quality is very, very nice as well. So I really like those ones. Additionally, guys, outside of the detailing department, if you go over to where the pressure washers are and like air compressors and things like that, you'll see a foam cannon from Black Max. Now this is a pretty basic foam cannon. It's a little pricey for me um, considering what it is because you can buy a very similar one to that on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Um, but they also carry the Sun Joe foam cannon, which is a decent foam cannon. When you switch out the orifice to a 1.1 millimeter orifice in that thing, it got good results. I used it in my van uh, quite a bit because I have a rack system like these ones in there and it fit in there. And uh, my MJJC has a wider base that didn't fit. So um, I always kept that one with me in addition because it was always there. It fit in one of those little carrying spots and it was out of sight, out of mind. Was, I knew it was there in case I forgot my other ones. And again, guys, now we're talking about pressure washing and using the foam cannons. Just as a reminder, guys, with any pressure washer, typically when they, when the, with the hose that you get when you buy one is terrible, they kink, they're, they're, they're just a, super cumbersome to work with. And my personal favorite is the Uberflex hose. Fantastic hose, I use it every day in my business. Definitely my favorite. I'll have the link in the description for you guys for that one. But if you're at Walmart, they sell an Uberflex hose. It's branded under Black Max and they keep it with the pressure washers. You'll see it's Black Max. It's gonna be a black pressure washer hose and you'll see on the side of, of, the, uh, of the hose itself, it'll be stamped Pro Pulse by Uberflex or, or Uberflex by Pro Pulse. And that's how you'll know. You'll feel the difference in it as well. But that's a fantastic hose. Um, that one's 35 feet. The one I use is 50 feet. Um, and then you can also get a 30 foot option on Amazon. So just depending on what you want, but I'll have all that stuff, stuff linked in the description for you below. So that's it guys. I hope that helps you. If you're looking to get some car detailing products, I know trying to find your local car detail shop specifically isn't always the easiest thing to do. If you're in San Diego, please check out Car Glow. Um, ask for Jared over there. Amazing guys. I actually talked to them. He set up a 5% discount for you guys. Um, so 
If you do want any of the product from there, it's mycarglow.com. I'll have it linked in the description. Just use code I'm Josh V for 5% off your, your order. And he mentioned he would actually, for the people that use that code, he'll throw in some little sample bottles like this for you guys uh, to test out some of his other, other products. So support the little guy. They're great people. Always a good choice. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you're subscribed, turn on that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.